I was just trying a beauty hack that if you don't have time to do your makeup, just put on red lipstick and it transforms your face and makes you look ready to go out. Apparently not. I wouldn't go out like this. Obviously I know I'm wearing cell tape, but just in general. I wouldn't go out with just bright red lips on. Anyway, I'm going to do a tutorial on actually. Um, this is in our kudos. This is Addiction Palette 3, which is our, our purples. In the month, in the kudos this month, we have eyeshadow, an eyeliner, and a mascara. The colour of the eyeshadow and the eyeliner is of your choice. I like the black eyeliner. I also have a purple one, and I also like the, the dark blue one that's really pretty. Anyway, let's continue. So, to begin with, I'm going to use Tickled, which is the pink colour. It's going to be from a crease, so just make sure my brush is clean. Using the end of the brush. Just going to make little circles. As you can see on my eyes, I have some sellotape. That is hopefully going to help me get a good wing. I tried this the other day. This eye went lovely. This eye did not. So I've changed the position to see whether it is maybe the lighting or something. But hey ho, we'll have a go and see. So you start with circular motions and then you can go into the windscreen wipers, so little circles all the way out and then you can go into the wind windscreen washer. Lots of people can just do that straight away. I never managed to do that. That never looks good on me when I try and just do that. It makes it look like I've got a black eye and I don't like that look. So that is your crease. Just clean your brush. My arm ends up very dirty where I'm just cleaning that. So remember to wash your arm if you do it on your arm. Tissue is probably preferable. Preferable. But I'm not that organised. Right, next one is a static, which is that rose gold brown colour that I don't really know what colour it is. Can never make up my mind in different lights it looks different colours but it's pretty so I'm just pressing that on halfway across my eyelid and again press it on you press it rather than just brush it on because it keeps the colour on for longer and it stops you brushing and getting loads of um, like bits of sparkle all over your cheeks as you may have noticed apart from the lip stain I haven't got any other makeup on so if I did get anything on my cheeks I could just cover it up but right that's done now I'm going to go with irate tool which is the black at the end I'm going to start using the liner part of the liner shader brush just tap off the excess and start off with, I'm going to go to the sellotape. I need to use the mirror for this. And you just put it across from your eye along where the sellotape is. So you're just kind of filling that in. Like that. And then, use it again. Take it from the sellotape until the corner of your eye at the top. So you make a nice line that leads onto your eyelashes. And you make a little triangle there. Sorry. One of these days I'll get contacts and I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Right, so that is one flick. Let's try the other one. So just on the sellotape there. And just like that. Make a little triangle. Then fill it in. Lovely. Right, still with the liner part of the brush, we're going to now use it as, as as a liner, as an eyeliner. If you're not very good with liquid eyeliner, this is a much easier way. Just get a darker colour and use the liner part just to press it on right next to the bottom of your eyelashes. And you can bring that right in if you want. I normally try and stop 
where my eyelashes get sort of thinner. About here. And go to the other eye. Dot it on. Like that. You can do this with any any sort of colour. We've got our palette one, little browns. So you could use it with, there's two dark browns. I'd use the matte one as the eyeliner, which I do use quite a lot. Um, you could use it with any of the sort of funkier colours that we've got. If you're looking for more of a out there look. Right, I'm going to use this eye with the liner. With the eyeshadow as a liner, sorry. And then on the other eye, I'm going to use the actual eyeliner. Because I don't think that you need to have your eyes lined in eyeshadow and then eyeliner. I think it makes you look a little bit like Marilyn Manson. So let me just find my eyeliner how far found it <laughs> I got this when I started and I use it a lot it doesn't ever seem to go down you don't need a lot, it doesn't come off it's non smudge proof it's just waterproof, it's brilliant I love it, like the, the difference between, I've done videos before of the difference between Collection 2000 and Miss Sportier than this and this is just so much blacker that's not correct English, but you know what I mean. Right. Hope nobody's squeamish. Let me put this through my eye. Just going to line that. And I don't go all the way to the end of my eye because I don't like it. And it gets sort of gunk in my eyes. I don't like that either. Right. Final step of our eyeshadow. So you me if I think if you had eyeliner and eyeshadow, I think that'd just be too black, too dark, I don't like it. Right, not final step even, I've forgotten one. Go back onto the black using the brush shade. Just gonna go over that triangle, try and keep it near your eyelashes just a little bit. Just make the outside a little bit darker. Make it a little bit more smoky. But, you know, if you're not going out anyway, you don't need to have too much of a smoky eye, do you? Don't want to be doing the school run looking like you're going for a night on the town. Right, leave it like that. And then this might be a little bit backwards to how a lot of people will say to do it. But I then go to my lightest colour. Because I was fine then, if I started with my light colour and then did the dark, by the time it finished, the light colour couldn't be seen. So I thought, well, rather than waste my time and do it twice, I'll just do it at the end. Simple. Right, I'm going to use Smitten, which is the light colour, the lightest colour in the palette. And I'm just going to press that on in the beginning of the eye, in the corner. Wrong one. Like that. And then go through again. And I'm just going to sweep that over to blend them all in. So a little bit more. Bit of there. Sweep over. Okay. And get my mascara on. So we have two tubes. We have the transport gel. And the, I forgot the word, green tea fibres, them, <laughs> and the fibres, so, gel, gel, now fibres, so roll your brush on the back of your hand, just in case you get any lumps of fibres that sort of will come off on your eye and they're just a pain, so roll it on your hand first, so we'll just Brush that over the gel nice and slowly. I've found that if you try and do this in a rush, it makes it worse. And if I'm doing it in a rush, I'll get stuff in my eye or it won't look as good. So just take your time. Right. So 
that will do. And then I'm going to do one eye because you've seen how I do the eye eyelashes. So now I'm going to go back and just do under there. If I was doing my whole face, I'd have probably done my eyeshadow, then done my foundation and my concealer, and then gone back and done my mascara. So it's the last thing that I do. Um, but I'm only obviously showing you my eye look today, so I don't need to do that. And give it a minute and then go back over it with the transplant gel just to seal in those fibres. And then obviously if you want to do it and build upon it and do a second coat, you can do. Right, well I will let you go. I'll do my makeup and I'll show you the end result. Oh, hang on. Let me show you the... Well, I'll take the cellar tape off. It's really quite strange seeing half your face done, like your eyes and your lips, but not your foundation. It's weird. Right, take... Oh God, if I can get it off. <laughs> take that off. And look. Don't think you need it right up there. But that is one nice line. Ooh. Cellar tape. So let's hope your friend. See you later. Have a good day. Finished. Eyes.